you can do is be really thankful that you came to church tonight. Right here as we speak and sing blessings, I'd like for you to just walk around and bless somebody. If you don't know what to say, just sing the song. He's sweeter as the days go by. Oh, what love between my Lord and I. I just keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. I keep falling in love over and over and over. I keep falling in love with him. to all these blessings you're passing out. Have you ever thought, let me just kind of out bless you. Let my story be bigger than yours. Let my blessing be bigger. I'm gonna speak a blessing bigger than your blessing. Oh, no. 
when it seemed there was nothing to give he loved us when loving brought heartache and loss and he forgave from an old As you know, there's a whole lot of us that um, don't look forward to Tuesday nights before Thanksgiving. <laughs> and then there's some that do, some that don't have a choice, some that's got to go on, some of those that are gone that just says, I'm so sorry, I can't be there. And uh, I think by the end of the night, we're going to really enjoy these few moments of lavishing him not with just praise and thanksgiving tonight but but with love I think that it's um, so beautiful to me to know that as much as he gives me it's beautiful to me that I have something that he needs and that makes my relationship with him so strong, so secure. To know that he hath need of me as much as I have need of him. This song is one for the ages and just a beautiful song. And I could take the time to tell you about the history of it. But just sing the words with me. It's us tonight. My Jesus, I love Thee, I know Thou art mine, for Thee all the follies of sin.
my Jesus is now. Now. I, I love thee in life and I love And for Thanksgiving, we have brought home Kevin Howard. We've got so much to be thankful for and just what Kevin and Pam brought to us years and years and years ago. And uh, we're so thankful to have them here tonight. And Kevin is back home, and this is his church, and this is his home, and we are his people, and we want to hear from Kevin tonight. We welcome you, Kevin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is good to be home. I am thankful, thankful, thankful. No place like home. When you're a nomad like Pam and I are, home is where your heart is, right? And, and our heart has always been in this house, and so I'm just so thankful that God has given us an awesome home like this. And when, when you shared with me your feeling for what you've, the flow was tonight, I immediately started thinking, you know, just not, not necessarily the love that God has for us, which we're all forever grateful for, but how we can show our love 
back to him for what he has done and what he has been to all of us. And I started really thinking about how do I love the Lord? How do I love him in my worship and in my life and how in my devotion to him? And, you know, he set the pattern. You know, all the love languages, it's like he lived out all the love languages when he was here on earth. And he showed us how to do all the loving, the way that he lived his life, the way he led his life, the way he connected with people, the way he gave everything, the whole fact that we're getting ready to enter into the Christmas season, which is the whole point of him coming to earth just because he loved us. And that pattern was set for us. And, and you know, it's, 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 it's the standard, right? It's the standard for us of when we're, when we're living our life and, it's, and we're checking our motives and we're checking our heart. Is our heart right? Is our heart in the right place, God? Is, is our heart in what we are doing? You know, because when we look at him, he gave everything. He went to the garden and he shouldn't have taken on anything he took on and yet he did it. So when we're looking at injustice and we're looking at things that are not fair or not right, how do, how do we choose to love through that and to show the love of God when our enemies despitefully use us? You know, in those times where, when it really counts to show the love of God, when the down and out and somebody comes into our world that maybe takes from us more than they can give to us, how do we show? Because Jesus Christ did that for us. And so this Thanksgiving season and tonight, that's, what, that's where I want my worship to go to. I want it to go to that, that part that cost me something. It's something that I spend of myself in this. It's not worth anything if I don't spend myself in this and I don't give myself fully to this. So my Jesus, I love thee. I love you for everything. I love you every day. Thank you for loving me when I'm not lovable. I love you for that. The fact that I am so unlovable so much of the time, but yet you still stay consistent and you still forgive. And the grace and the mercy that you show every day shows me how to give grace and mercy to myself and to show that every day. So this Thanksgiving, I want to love like he loves. I want to live like he lives every day. I want to check my motives every day, check my walk before him and make sure that my life is bringing him worship. So that's why I'm grateful this week. I'm so grateful. God, without the grace and the mercy of the Lord, I can't be here tonight. I can't be here tonight. And he has blessed me so tremendously. And I've just stopped trying to thank, thank him for everything. You know, every day it's like, Lord, what can I thank you for today? And it's like a million things come to mind. And I think he, he's pleased when we can find that many things to thank him for because if we really stop, that's the best anecdote for, uh, uh, um, for being grouchy and being, you know, tied up with people. Start thinking of the things God has done for you. You know, you gave me a, a vehicle to drive today. You got me here today from Dallas safely, Lord. Yeah. There was a lot of traffic out there, and I got here safely. You know, most of the time, we don't even think about that, but the fact is, angels went with me today all the way here. It's just the details of life that he's so faithful in, and so I can show my love back to him. I can show my gratitude back to him and all of that, and I'm thankful today for his love, and I love because he first loved me. Amen.
the great creator became my savior and all God's fullness dwelled in him. Now sing that song like your Vesta Mangan. Or sing that song like your. Well, it was Brother Kenneth Brady, wasn't it? That was the one that I, when I first came, that's who was singing it. The biggest and the best I ever heard it all. One more time. Let's start from the top. together and we um, and we try to find songs back in the day we would try to outdo each other and try to find a um, find a hymn that maybe he didn't know or he found one that maybe I didn't know and we just kind of challenged each other with that so right here in front of you tonight I'm gonna put him on the spot all right Long ago, Sister Tini gave uh, us this book, and it's, uh, it, well, goodness, when I say long ago, it was, she wrote in it, Merry Christmas, 1987, from the Tinnies. It's good to keep your books, right? Especially good ones like this. So, it was written by a Swedish author way back in the 1800s. Ready? It's in B-flat. I don't know it. Oh, you don't know it. <laughs> and if you know it, I'm going to hit you. Okay. All right. So this is what you do. You get on your phone. Try to find, oh, my goodness. Okay. Here it is right here. Okay, here it is. See if you all know it. Okay. This is how we do it. Dark and dreary fall. Have has anybody in here ever heard that? Thanks for roses by the wayside. 
Now let's sing it. This y'all, come on. Here we go. Thanks for roses. Thanks for talk about the fall being dreary and dull and yeah yeah it's my favorite season I know they try to wish it away and get Christmas here in a hurry but <laughs> well after that I think that it would be appropriate to ask our pastor Gentry Mangan to come up and to greet this great congregation let's welcome our pastor and see what kind of a hymn he's got on his heart gonna pass on the singing tonight but thank you we've had enough comedic relief for one night but it has been a, a tremendous night thank you uh, of course mom and brother Kevin good to see you welcome home thank you all for working so hard to put this blessings night together a night of the year as, as mom said that some love and some do not but I'm, I'm excited about tonight Glad to be here with all of you, the Blessings Night, um, where we share a, a night of giving thanks to God uh, for the many blessings that He has bestowed on us. God has been good to us. God has been so very good to us, and we have a lot to be thankful for. And Of course, Mom has uh, started off this night with talking about how much we love God, how much God loves us, but... It's been centered around our love back to Him, and it's almost made me feel guilty to go to the Lord in prayer because it turns me right back around to having to ask Him for something. And we're going to here in just a moment. But why don't we take a second to stand together and let's bestow our love on Him without song, without anybody leading us in song, leading us in worship. Why don't we throw our hands in the air and just show our love to Him for a moment? It's okay that we take a few moments to love God like He deserves. We love you tonight, Lord. We magnify you and we praise you. There's none like you. I love you. You've been so good to us, God. You've given us more than we deserve. I am just a sinner that has been saved by your grace. I do not deserve your grace. I do not deserve your mercy. But you have bestowed it upon us freely. So I just want to say thank you and how much I love you tonight, Lord. I love you, I love you, I love you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's remain standing for just a moment because we are going to go to the Lord in prayer. But I wanted to make sure that before I started asking Him to heal me and to touch me and to bless me and to turn our situations around, I wanted to let Him know that in case He does it, that's okay. I still love you. I still love you. Just remember to pray for America, the peace of Jerusalem, Israel, Central Louisiana, our industry, our jobs here in Sin Law, that God will bless Sin Law with industry. Let's remember Barbara Marler, George Lyles, Charles Eric Parker, and Charlotte Kelly. And I've got pages of names here that I hold in my hand that you have wrote down in faith. And if you have a need here tonight, can you signify that with a raised hand? Knees all across the building tonight. Those of you watching by way of the web, you can comment right now. And we're going to join with you in prayer. 
We know that many of you have needs and you need God to meet your need right now. I believe He will. Join with us, online community, as we pray. Join your neighbor if it's proper to do so. Let's take our needs and our requests to the Lord right now in the name of Jesus. I speak healing into these situations, into every name that has been called, every name and situation that's been written down on these pages, names that are on the screen, people that are commenting across the web right now. I pray for them in Jesus' name. Right now, God, I speak by faith. I release my faith that you are still able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. Heal people's body. Restore people's minds. Bless people's lives here tonight. Bless their families. Bless their marriages. Bless their homes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And let everybody say amen. Speak it over your life. Claim it in your life and in your family's life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You can be seated here tonight. Do want to. Uh, before we continue, I do want to say welcome to our church family and any guests that maybe are here with us tonight. There are a few people that I've seen that I do not recognize, and I want to say thank you so much for being here with us on our Tuesday night blessing service. It's an honor to see our church family and guests alike. And then those of you that are watching by way of the web, we give you great honor for being with us tonight, whether you're a regular online attendee or you're a guest with us here at Blessings Tonight. Thank you for being with us. Let's welcome everybody to church in-house and this joining by way of the well. We're excited to have everybody at church tonight. It is time for our Tuesday night tithes and offerings. A little different night that we're able to give, but it doesn't matter what day or night it is, what an honor it is, as Scripture tells us, to be able to invest into the kingdom of God, our first fruits. And then out of the abundance of our heart offerings, we are told to do this cheerfully and with a thankful heart and a glad heart. And so I encourage you, if giving has never been your practice, that's okay. Tonight's a good night to start. For one, Scripture tells us to do so, and I believe scripturally we can prove that we are required to do so. But when you begin to give into the kingdom of God, when you sow into the kingdom of God, you will reap benefits be far beyond your imagination goes beyond monetary gain that God benefits you with when we sow into his kingdom God blesses us and I encourage you to give tonight those of you that are watching by way of the web we encourage you to give as well give as the Lord has blessed you we don't forget about you there are people that faithfully supports us all around the world and we give you honor tonight thank you for your giving and ways will be listed on your screen that you can give Lord Jesus thank you for this opportunity to invest into your kingdom to do what scripture requires us to do and honor you with our first fruits and then now the abundance of our heart give offerings. Thank you for this opportunity to bless you, God. Not only to bless you, but also to bless your kingdom. For this church supports every missionary, global and home. I pray a special blessing over every individual that gives. Bless their businesses, their homes, their finances. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Ushers, you can receive the offering. Do you have a few announcements I need to share with you tonight? POA Christmas concert Sunday evening, December the 11th at 6 p.m. December the 11th, 6 p.m. Make plans to be here and to invite your friends and family to attend our Christmas concert as our special music guest, Jason Crabb, will be with us. And I'm looking forward to that. Jason always does a phenomenal job. He's uh, does exceptional every time he comes, and we, we are so honored to have him coming once again. Our POA Christmas giving, do want to uh, make you aware of the upcoming calendar. Uh, our Christmas giving, our toys for kids, Sunday, December the 4th, will be, will be the day that we will bring new and unwrapped Christmas toys for the children of all of our local elementary schools that POA is sponsoring. Gifts should be appropriate for children in pre-K through fifth grade. So as you are bringing on December the 4th, New unwrapped toys for our uh, elementary students that need gifts this year. Remember, it is for pre-K to fifth grade. If you would like to sponsor a child, you can pick up a child's information card at one of the welcome centers, and you can please attach that card with the gift that you bring 
on December the 4th. So you can bring a toy. Let me make that a little more clear. You can bring a toy uh, unwrapped without a card on it that will go to a local elementary school kid that is sponsored by POA this year, or you can sponsor a specific child yourself, and you can pick up that card at the Welcome Center. Tomorrow night, November the 23rd, there will be no POA Wednesday service. This Sunday, November the 27th, 9 a.m. Sunday school, 10 o'clock worship service. Make plans to be here as Bishop will be ministering. It's going to be a tremendous day in the Lord. And do have a reminder for you on that day. This Sunday is the day that we bring gift cards for our missionary kids. So we will be bringing gift cards that go to our global missionary kids and our North American mission kids, uh, that will be $10 gift cards. Please bring them in increments of $10. Please don't bring a $100 gift card or a $20 gift card. Get a $10 gift card. Get as many as you want, but bring them in $10 increments. And please keep that to global supply chains like uh, Target, Walmart, iTunes, Starbucks, things that are readily available around the world. Thank you so much for being here. Honored to see everybody. Let's have a great Thanksgiving week with our families. And let's continue blessings here tonight in worship with Sister Mickey and Brother Kim.
I can't begin to tell you what your love has meant. I'm lost for words. Is there a way to show this passion in my heart? Can I express how truly great I think you are? my dearest friend This is my desire To pour my love on you Like oil upon your feet Like wine for you to drink Like water from my heart I pour my is gone I'll pour my love on you Ooh. Is there a way to show the passion in my heart can I express how truly great I think you are, my dearest friend? Lord, this is my desire to pour my love on you like oil upon your face. my heart I'll pour my love on you if praise is like perfume I'll lavish mine on you till every drop is gone I'll pour my love like oil upon your feet like wine for you to drink like water from my heart first verse again. I don't know how to say exactly how I feel. I can't begin to tell you what your love has meant. I'm lost for words. Is there a way to show the in my heart can I express truly great I think you are my dearest friend yes you are Lord this is my desire to pour my love on you like upon your feet wine for you to drink like water from my heart I pour my love on you if praise is like perfume lavish my 
altogether righteous, altogether wonderful to me. I'll never know all the love that you show to see my sin upon that cross. How could I pay the cost? Give you everything. 
good song for us to end on and to walk out of here singing fill my way every day with love and this one kind of shines when it comes to the piano a little bit if we can get it in the right key and and I've got um, something for uh, Pastor Gentry and Bishop to come up here just for a second play a tambourine. See? 
Tech Team, Curtis, you. Get me in the key for thanks. I can't close church on Thanksgiving without. Thank all of you for coming. It ended up being a good crowd here tonight. Thank you for coming, worshiping and magnifying the name of the Lord. Have a great Thanksgiving. Don't make a turkey out of yourself eating turkey. Enjoy the fellowship of your family. Let relationships that may have been fractured be healed. And let's just have a great weekend. Looking forward to preaching Sunday morning. Bring somebody with you and let's have church. I love y'all and good night.